So which wine would you rather drink? The hazy one or this, the exact same wine, 56 days later. So there are quite a few different ways to clear wines. In this video, I'm going to do my best to break it down so that you know which method works best for you and your wine and when to use them. Gravity is our friend here, and right from primary fermentation to secondary and so on, every time that we rack our wine, we leave behind the sediment that's left at the bottom of either the primary fermenter or the carboy. Now, the downside to this method is, well, A, patience, and uh, it's not effective for stubborn hazes like pectic or protein haze, which brings me to the next method. Okay, so method number two, bentonite. I'm sure you've heard of this one. This one is the most ideal for clearing protein haze. Now, there is a published study done that determined that bentonite is more effective if you don't put it in right with your primary fermentation, but put it in uh, after you've had a little bit of a bricks drop in sugars. So I haven't done that method yet personally. I stick with putting the bentonite in in the primary, and that's worked just fine for me at the start of fermentation. I will be giving this other method a shot maybe a day or two after the bubbler gets vigorous. That'll come up in a future video at some point in time on this channel. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. The first con about bentonite is it's tough to mix. So there's two ways that you can get around this. My current favorite method to mixing bentonite is to put the granules into hot water into a either like a magic bullet or a smoothie blender. This works the absolute best to get creamy smooth bentonite. Now if you don't have a smoothie blender, just get yourself a jar Put the granules in there with some hot water. Give this a shake about every 5-10 minutes for uh, maybe 5-10 times. But that does a pretty dang good job too. It's not as good as a blender, but it's a close second. Now the reason why bentonite works so well on protein is protein has a positive charge. Bentonite has a strong negative charge. The two will bind together and the weight of the bentonite will just help that settle down to the bottom. I think the best strong suit of bentonite is it's very effective on protein haze and this stuff is dirt cheap. So the downside to bentonite for clearing wine is quite simply this. Because it already has a negative charge, it will do nothing for other negatively charged ions in there but repel them. They will stay inside your wine. So that brings me to the next one, which is kisasol and kytosan. I hope I pronounced that correct. I've been called out for pronouncing this one wrong in the past. So this one is used when fermentation, both primary and secondary, are totally done. And it's easily got to be the most dramatic and quick clearing that you'll see. Typically, after you put the uh, kisasol in there, stir it up and let it sit for uh, 24 hours. When you put the kytosan in the next day uh, and stir it in, I mean, sometimes I see pretty dramatic results in like five minutes. So that is very satisfying to watch. Now, just as a side note here, kytosan is derived from shellfish. There is a vegan option available if you want that one, and that one's called Sparkloid. However, with all the methods I've listed so far, you could still be left with a pectic haze, and this has happened to me in the past. So the good news is, with the addition of pectic enzyme, those pectins are broken down, that fleshy part of the fruit uh, that's present in grapes. Some fruits have it more than others. This will break down all those pectins. The yeast can use some of that as nutrient, and the rest will fall out of solution. It works the best is if you do this right at the start of your winemaking. However, if you happen to forget, like I did here, whatever your package instructions are on your pectic enzyme, you can double it and add it in after the fact. The downside is, is it's going to take a lot longer if you do it with alcohol present. The pectins don't like to work, or the pectic enzyme doesn't like to work with high alcohol content. Ideal temperature is above 20 degrees Celsius. The ideal time to put this stuff in would be right after you pitch your Camden tablets, wait 12 to 24 hours, then the enzyme goes in, wait another 12 hours, and then put your yeast in at the start of fermentation. That's the best way to use the pectic enzyme. Now, an honorable mention here as well is if you still have a yeast kind of floating around a little bit, you can accelerate the process of which the yeast will settle down, and that's just by a process called cold crashing. So to do that, we just take our whole secondary, cool this thing right down. Now this one isn't very practical. You're gonna need, need either a refrigerator or a, like a cold garage maybe in winter. And just bring that wine to between, I think it's two and four degrees Celsius. I'll leave the exact temperatures down below in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, and this will 
take and change the solubility of the wine, which uh, think, think hot water and mixing sugar. Works a lot better than cold water to mix sugar. Same kind of principle uh, follows through here. By cooling off the wine, it's less soluble, and this will take the yeast that's left floating around in there and drop that down for you. Uh, one point of contention on this one is if you're going to use this and use this with an S-style airlock, instead of having a sanitizer solution in that airlock, recommend you swap that out to vodka because airflow is going to go backwards and some of that vodka is actually going to get sucked up and splashed back into your wine. So better vodka than sanitizer in your wine. So these are the methods that I've been using to keep my wine or get my wine crystal clear. I don't think I need to do any additions with the exception maybe of um, research on malactic bacteria and that kind of fermentation and either keeping it or converting it. Uh, that's another video. But this will already give you the tools you need to get you having a nice crystal clear wine to serve to your guests. Remember, we eat with our eyes first.